Hello and welcome. We have been working in our shell a lot, doing web scraping and stuff like that. Today, we're going to take it a step further. We're going to actually uh, create an account on a website uh, using Curl, and then we're also going to be uploading videos to that website. Let me start off. Well, I guess I've already started off, but let me continue by pointing out you should never upload anything personal to any website, whether it be Facebook, Google, I don't know, Vimeo, Amazon. If you don't own the server, you shouldn't be putting private stuff on it. Now I'm going to continue by saying, I know very little about the site we're going to be interacting with today. I thought, hey, I want to do a video where we can upload a video that will get, and then return us a shareable link that we can share that video with somebody. You know, you, doing that with YouTube and stuff like that, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but they can get complicated. You have to like get API keys and have accounts and all this stuff. So I just Googled yesterday for a website that doesn't require a, a login to upload videos and then I searched for an API. So the first thing that came up uh, was some website. That one didn't look good to me. The second one was this website, Streamable. Again, I am not familiar with it. I've never gone to it before yesterday. But it does allow you to upload videos without an account through the web interface, which means you should be able to do it from the shell. But then when I looked up, you know, uh, instead of just trying to pick apart the site myself, I looked to see if anybody has already shown a way to do this. And they do have an API. And you does seem like you need a username and password. The thing is... You don't really need any real credentials to create an account on this website, uh, as you'll see today. Uh, so basically, let's automate creating an account on that site and then use those credentials to upload a video. And again, also, I know very little about this site. It looks like, like when you upload videos, I think they're only available for a couple of days or something like that. But this is just to teach you about stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. So I'm um, at my Bash shell here. Let's go to our web browser, and I'm going to type in streamable.com. Oops, dot com. And then here, as you can see, you can upload a video without creating an account. Uh, and we can pick it apart and figure out how to do that. But again, the standard APIs, so the proper way of doing it, uh, does require your username and password. So let's create a new user. But first, let's open up our developer console. On any Chrome-based uh, browser, it's going to be F12. You can also right-click anywhere and say inspect an element in case you don't have F12. And also Control-J, I think, does the same thing. Firefox, it's a different key. But just figure it out for your web browser. Uh, and then we're going to go to the Network tab, okay? Let's go back over here. Let's make this full screen. And let's say Sign Up, okay? I'm going to make up an email address. I'm going to say OOOPPP at yahoo.com. And then I'll just say my password for the password. And let's go ahead and watch over here. Make sure that we have preserve log checked uh, so that if we go to a new page, we don't lose what we're logging. And I'm just going to go ahead and clear what we have. So again, we're in the network tab. It's going to show everything that is sent and downloaded from this website as the page loads. We click sign up. And here we go, we have some things that load. Here we can just drag and start drag and dropping videos. But let's go ahead and look at these. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. And we click here, you can see the information that was sent. There's two users in a row. The second one seems to have more information on it, such as username and whatnot. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click. I'm gonna say copy, and I'm gonna copy as curl. Make sure you don't click copy all as curl but copy as curl. So now we can flip over to our terminal here and I can paste in that command. Let's make this a little bit smaller. So quickly looking at this, let's go ahead and just open it up in Vim so that uh, we can get a better look at this. You can see that there is like a session ID here, which on a lot of websites could be an issue. We might have to figure out how to get that session ID for our command here. But I have found that if we just delete that line, that goes away. It, does, it doesn't, it isn't required. In fact, most of these lines are not required, but I'm going to leave them in there. We're not going to pick through all that. Down here, you can see the email address and the password we use. So let's go ahead and change this from OOOPPP to OOOGG. Oh, sorry. Got to go into insert mode. GGG. And for a password, we'll leave it the same. And then over here, I will change this to BB, or sorry, GGG. So we're setting the username and the email address to the same password. So now that I run that, so I've run that command and we got a response here. Let's go ahead, go back to our web browser in a fresh incognito mode. Okay, here we are and we're back in that website. I've logged out, I restarted my browser. And what did we say? We said OOOGGG at yahoo.com. 
this is the login, and then my password. And we're logged into the account we created in the shell. It was that simple. And again, if we look at the command we ran, uh, let's go ahead. Can we, oh, it's not pasted in there anymore. And anyway, there'll be links in the description to everything. The, uh, the important thing was we got rid of that session because, because leaving that in there might cause issues because it's thinking it's the session we were previously in, but removing it, it doesn't seem to check for it. So all we had to do is put in a, a email account that doesn't even exist as far as I know and a password. Now, how do we upload videos to it? Well, I'm in a directory here, and I have three video files, some MP4s, and a script. There'll be a link in the video description uh, to this script, but we're going to use a curl command. We're going to say curl dash dash request post. That's the type of request we're making. And then we're going to give it a URL. What is the URL going to be? Well, the URL is just going to be this right here. This put that inside the quotation marks. So we're saying we're using the API for streamable.com and we're uploading. Next, we need to give it our username and password. So we're just going to say dash dash user. And then our username is our email address. So we're going to say OOOGGG at yahoo.com colon. And then the password we put in, which is my password. And then we want to say dash dash form equals the at symbol, and then the file we want to upload. So I'll just go ahead and grab the name of one of these files. I'll put it in there. And if all goes well, we'll get some JSON response. Okay, I typed something wrong here. Let's have a look here. Oh, there's my problem. So let's go ahead and hit dash dash form file equals, and then the file name there. Now it's gonna start uploading. And when it's done, it's not a very big file. Uh, we will get a response, hopefully, in JSON. So look, here is the short code. Now, if we go back to our web browser, and I just click on Streamable, it will show me my videos, or maybe refresh the page. There we go. That's the video I just uploaded. And look, the copyable URL is 086AZ. If we go back to our shell, that's the short code we got there. So let's streamline this by putting it into a script. So I'm going to look at my script, upload.sh. Got some header information here, but we have a variable for our username. So let's go ahead and say OOOGGG at yahoo.com. And the password was my password. And then we have the URL. And then here, I'm going to have a prompt. It's going to run FCF. Now, for this, you have to have FCF installed. It should be in your package manager. It just lets you search through lists of stuff, in this case, files. And it's going to prompt you to select a video. The next line here is going to check to make sure you actually entered a file. If that's blank, then we're just going to exit. Next, we're going to run our curl command that we just ran, but we're going to put it into JQ, which allows you to parse through uh, the JSON output. Dash R means raw, which means we're not going to get any quotation marks around it, and we're looking for the short code. So that's going to return just that short code. After that, we're going to just echo streamable.com forward slash and that short code. So let's go ahead and run our script here. I've made it executable already with change mod plus X. I'm going to run that. It will list out all the files in the directory, and I can choose one like this one here. We're going to see the output as it's uploading, and then it will return a URL. As soon as it's done uploading, I can click on that, and it opened it up on another screen here. Let's just go ahead and copy the URL and go here. So now I can paste that into here, and you can see the video. So I have a URL that I can share with other people. And if I refresh this page, you'll see that it's right there. Let's go ahead and run our script again. We can choose a different file. And once that's done uploading, it will return a URL for us. And if we come here and refresh, you can see that that video is now uploaded with that same shareable URL. And if we, we, we upload another video that we've already uploaded. So, oh, I've uploaded the same video twice there already. It doesn't even check to make sure that you haven't already uploaded this video. Uh, and look, that video is now uploaded and it's processing. So again, there'll be links in the description of how to, of, of the script that we ran. Uh, but now you know how you can figure out how to log into a website or create, not just log in, but create a, um, a new account on certain websites that don't require any real checks uh, using your web browser and the developer console. Anytime you wanna know what commands are sent, you can use that copy as curl for a command 
And now we can, at any time, create a new account, upload a video, get your, and then it's like a throwaway account. You know, if you do this a lot, they might block your IP or there might be a captcha. I haven't experienced that. And I'm playing with this for a day or so now and I haven't come across any captcha or anything like that to stop me. But that's what captures are for, for, for stopping automated stuff like this. But you could, if you wanted to have a script on your computer that, hey, I want to share a video with somebody. And, and so instead of uploading it to YouTube or wherever you share videos at, you could have a script that just, and it returns, it creates a new account, then uploads a video, gives you a URL that you can give to somebody. And uh, then, you know, next time you, you create a new account. So anyway, uh, I guess don't abuse this. I'm not very familiar with this website. You know, uh, again, if you probably, if you do a lot of these, uh, they're probably going to eventually block you in some way, either with a capture or just block your IP address. But for the occasional use to script things out like this, that was really useful. Also, it is really good for just, um, and, you know, a tutorial, testing, testing your skills. Because some websites, like when you're working with Google and stuff, setting something up like this is a little more involved. Um, they're going to require you to, you know, verify who you are. They're going to require that you get an API key. Stuff that is understandable in some aspects, but kind of annoying when you're just trying to write a script that does things. So we kept things simple here, found a website that works for us. And uh, again, don't share anything private on any of these services. Set up a server at your house. Literally takes minutes to do and costs almost nothing. And, uh, but... Check out links in the description. Filmslikechris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.